Hello and welcome to how to inspect a Kohler fuel solenoid. We are also going to inspect the main jet. At the end of this video there are two clips of before and after how the engine was running. Oh, so far so good. One little screw there. Screw there. Okay, no gum on there, right? Look at that. I'm still free, but that's a lot of gook in there. So that means that we are going to have a lot of gook in here. This turns. There's two O-rings on this piece, so I just need to pull it out, or I might need to wedge it out somehow. So I'm going to take my screwdriver here and I'm going to use this piece here and try and lever it out. Okay, that uh, wasn't exactly what I wanted. Okay, that was kind of this piece here and try and lever it out. We can see that now. Okay, that fits and it fits solidly. Um, if you strip this and you're doing this on your own, if you strip this, it, it, it's game over. So, oh, that was a good sound. Come on. You can see now it's not clogged. My gloves in behind. Well, this guy's got some rusty action on it, so. Possibility there. I don't want to clean this guy up so she's super clean. So I'm taking this, uh, it's an Arbrite or a Barillo pad or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to clean this pin up here. This stuff should remove just the gunk. I'm not using sandpaper on this. Just a Barillo pad type thing. And I'm going to test to see that it works just for fun. So it has a naturally forward a spring that pushes it. Forward. Hopefully you can see it in my hands and not in the way. You know what, I should clean the inside of that hole a little better. That thing was sliding, it was all gummy in there. That may have been the ticket. So. I know the outside has nothing to do with it, but it'll just look a little bit prettier. Okay. So. 
I'm being very gentle. It sounds worse than it is. Okay. okay yours got some smooth action going on there now. It's not all gummed up. I'm hoping that's what it was. Because you be able to see that but this guy's super clean and it was clean when I pulled it out so it's not that use the right size screwdriver because if you damage this and it doesn't come out you're replacing the car more than likely right there's the bottom okay this guy here I'm just going to press this guy. <laughs> Took nothing to put back in. I'm going to make sure she's right to the bottom. And I want to give it a little tap, but not with a real hammer. Okay, I'd like to give a shout out to Jeff's Little Engine Service. That's his YouTube channel. He helped me find this problem. I was watching one of his videos when I could not go any further on my own and I saw that he was taking the solenoid apart I'm like oh I never did that and that's where I found this problem so Jeff thank you very much I appreciate it he also has all sorts of other videos of tips and tricks on here as well so that's Jeff's little engine service that's his YouTube name again okay again thank you for watching my video if you've gotten any value out of this please like and subscribe have a good night.